गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम यशिका फ्रॉम बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री ऑनर्स थर्ड ईयर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक अ वीडियो फॉर विजुअली इम्पेयर स्टूडेंट्स नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज यूज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एंड इनऑर्गेनिक रिएजेंट्स इन इनऑर्गेनिक एनालिसिस इंट्रोडक्शन रिएजेंट्स आर दोज कंपाउंड विच आर यूज इन इनऑर्गेनिक एनालिसिस फॉर द डिटेक्शन एंड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ आयंस एंड मोलिक्यूल्स अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक एज वेल एज इनऑर्गेनिक रिएजेंट्स हैव बीन यूज फॉर दिस पर्पज द इनऑर्गेनिक प्रेसिपिटेटिंग रिएजेंट्स जनरली प्रेसिपिटेट द इनऑर्गेनिक स्पीशीज एज पेरिंगली सोल्यूबल सॉल्ट और हाइड्रस ऑक्साइड्स द ऑर्गेनिक प्रेसिपिटेटिंग एजेंट्स फॉर्म स्पेरिंगली सोल्यूबल प्रोडक्ट्स आइदर थ्रू कॉर्डिनेट लिंकेज और थ्रू आयनिक लिंकेज बिटवीन द इनऑर्गेनिक स्पीशीज एंड द ऑर्गेनिक प्रेसिपिटेटिंग रिएजेंट एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग ऑर्गेनिक रिएजेंट्स द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग ऑर्गेनिक रिएजेंट्स आर लिस्टेड बिलो दे आर मोर स्पेसिफिक दैन कन्वेंशनल रिएजेंट्स अंडर सर्टेन कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी दे कैन फ्रिक्वेंटली बी यूज टू डिटेक्ट अ सिंगल टाइप ऑफ आयन इन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स मिक्सचर they can be more sensitive classical semi micro methods of qualitative analysis will usually not detect much less than 100 gammas of a substance under specific test solutions organic reagents on the other hand are capable of detecting below 10 gammas and in certain cases as little as 10 to the power minus 3 gamma they can be adopted in quantitative analysis the organic precipitates are generally insoluble in water at a given ph and can be separated dried and weighed those reactions giving colored soluble products frequently show a regular change in color intensity with concentration of the substance under test and so are adoptable to an accurate comparison with colors representing concentration this is the basic idea in the branch of calorimetry common properties of organic reagents some of the common properties of organic reagents due to which these are used in inorganic analysis are given below formation of colored precipitate organic reagents form direct characteristic color with the ions to be detected b for locating end point that is as indicators employed in volumetric titrations second formation of precipitate due to difference in solubility this may be made on the basis of a gravimetric method third extraction in organic solvent at controlled ph fourth masking reagents this increases the selectivity of reagents fifth difference in volatility sixth oxidation or reduction to other valency state seventh wash liquids the chemical nature of organic reagent is important in determining the use of the above mentioned properties advantages of organic reagents over inorganic reagents it is due to the following properties that they are better precipitating reagents than inorganic reagents first selectivity in many cases organic reagents are somewhat specific for example cobalt from nickel using alpha nitro so beta naphthol or dimethyl glyoxime aluminum from iron using cupferon cadmium from copper using quinaldehyde acid and thiourea can be precipitated In some cases adjustment of the pH will often cause precipitation of one constituent alone by changing pH and solvent conditions one constituent after another can sometimes be quickly precipitated out Second ease of drying organic reagents produce compounds that they have little affinity for water and are dried easily at temperature low enough to prevent decomposition Third coprecipitation lack of ionic character of organic precipitation products greatly reduces coprecipitation in most cases for example the coprecipitation of sodium and potassium with magnesium is much less when the latter is precipitated by 8 hydroxyquinoline than when it is precipitated by phosphate or oxalate some exceptions in metals do occur it has been little studied but in some cases it is as bad as in organic inorganic precipitants reagents are usually insoluble in water therefore it is important not to add an excess of reagent this is difficult because there is no way to tell when sufficient reagent without excess has been added any excess that is insoluble would add to the weight of the precipitate disadvantages of organic reagents there are unfortunately disadvantages to using organic reagents first volatility This is the first practical disadvantages of organic reagents because chelated compounds are non-polar the forces between individual molecules in the crystal are not very great thus some of the metallic complexes which are precipitated in analytical chemistry are appreciably volatile above 130 to 150 degrees celsius and most decompose above this temperature 
therefore the drying of precipitate should be done below 130 degrees celsius to avoid decomposition second impurities in reagents it is very difficult to prepare an organic reagent of the same degree of purity as say in organic compounds impurities present in organic reagents may enter into the precipitate during the precipitation and cause undesirable reactions for example a dimethyl glyoxime exists in three forms that is alpha beta gamma of these only the alpha form is specific for nickel while preparing dimethyl glyoxime gamma form is also formed along with the alpha form if the precipitation is carried out with this impure dimethyl glyoxime then nickel will be precipitated with some other metals because alpha form is specific for nickel whereas gamma form can precipitate other metals too b ketoenol isomerism ketoenol isomerism in such compounds as dithiazone will cause errors in colorimetric work unless conditions are carefully selected third low solubility of the reagents in water this is the greatest disadvantage which organic precipitants have in comparison with inorganic precipitants fourth high molecular weight the very high molecular weights of the chelate complexes formed with metal ions reduce proportionately small errors in precipitation and weighing fifth colored compounds chelate compounds are often highly colored and since they are usually soluble in organic solvents they lend themselves to colorimetric or photometric methods of analysis sixth solubility in organic solvents because of their covalent nature most metal complexes with organic reagents are soluble in non polar solvents chloroform being usually the best such solvents are used to extract the complexes for colorimetric determination or they may be used simply for separating the one element from another thus the complex of cupferon with tri positive iron is very soluble in ether and chloroform which allow one to remove large amounts of iron from solutions containing aluminum in these extractions the ph must be carefully adjusted to give the desired separation important organic reagents some of the organic reagents which are generally used in the identification of ions are discussed below first oxine c9h7on the structure of this reagent is given in figure 18.1 it is almost a colorless solid soluble in organic solvents and mineral acids it gives yellow color which may be due to the formation of quinoid structure it was introduced by harm and berg in 1927 as analytical reagent a number of metals gives coordination complexes with this reagent examples of such metals are mg zn cu cd pb al fe b ga th zr etc The formation of the complex compound with the bivalent metal ion like Zn2 positive is shown below. The quantitative estimation of the complex is carried out by drying and weighing the hydrated or anhydrous complex or complex is ignited to oxide and then weighed. In volumetric methods the precipitate is dissolved by filtering with hydrochloric acid and then resulting solution is titrated against standard potassium bromide bromide solution in spectrophotometric method the estimation of the metal ion is carried out by measuring the optical density of the complex the reagent has been found to be suitable for mg al etc the reagent is a 2% solution of oxime into an acetic acid second dimethyl glyoxime this reagent was discovered by al technegaf in 1905 and was applied by o brunk 1907 for the determination of nickel in steel The structure of this reagent is shown in figure 18.2. This reagent gives an insoluble red chelate with nickel 2 positive ion in ammonical medium. For details, see applications of the formation of chelated complexes discussed in chapter on basic concepts of coordination chemistry. Solution of palladium salts gives characteristic yellow precipitate in dilute HCl or HCSO4, but nitrate ions interfere. Solution of bismuth salts also gives a yellow precipitate in presence of EDTA at pH 11.0 to 11.5. For the studies, one percent solution of dimethyl glyoxime in alcohol is employed. In spectrophotometric method, the insoluble precipitate is extracted into chloroform, which yields yellow coloration, and then the optical density is measured. Third. alpha nitroso beta naphthol also called 1 nitroso 2 naphthol the structure of this reagent is shown at a of figure 18.3 it is an orange powder having melting point of 109 degrees celsius soluble in organic solvents but almost insoluble in water the reagent is usually employed as a saturated solution in 50% acetic acid this reagent is common for the precipitation of many metallic radicals but it is used specially for the detection of ferric iron copper and cobalt with palladium and uranium salts in slightly acidic solution 
इट गिवस इन सोल्यूबल कलर्ड कंपाउंड अंडर सुटेबल कंडीशन निकल एंड मैग्नीशियम हाउ एवर आर नॉट प्रेसिपिटेटेड बाय दिस रिएजेंट देयर फॉर द रिएजेंट इन एसिड सोल्यूशन इज यूज फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ निकल फ्रॉम कबाल्ट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द चिलेटेड कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म बाय दिस रिएजेंट विद सी ओ थ्री पॉजिटिव आयन इज शोन एट बी ऑफ फिगर एटीन पॉइंट थ्री द रिएजेंट हैज ऑल्सो बीन यूज फॉर द स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमेट्रिक डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ कबाल्ट एंड फ्यू अदर मेटल आयंस इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर स्पॉट टेस्ट ऑफ कबाल्ट फोर्थ क्यूफेरॉन क्यूफेरॉन एक्जिस्ट लार्जली नॉट इन नाइट्रोसो हाइड्रोक्सी फॉर्म ए बट इन टोटोमेट्रिक अमाइन ऑक्साइड फॉर्म बी द रिएजेंट इज यूजली एम्प्लॉयड एज अ सिक्स परसेंट एक्वा सोल्यूशन बट इज मोस्ट यूजफुल इन स्ट्रॉगली एसिडिक सोल्यूशन इन स्ट्रॉगली एसिडिक सोल्यूशन इट प्रेसिपिटेट्स एफ ई थ्री सी ई थ्री एन बी टी ए डब्ल्यू सिक्स जी ए एंड एस एन टू सी यू टू एटसेट्रा प्रेसिपिटेट शुड बी फिल्टर्ड इमिडिएटली आफ्टर देयर फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज क्यू फेरोन इज नॉट वेरी स्टेबल इन एसिड सोल्यूशन फर्दर मोर प्रेसिपिटेशन शुड बी कैरिड आउट इन कोल्ड सिंस द रिएजेंट इज डिकम्पोज इन टू नाइट्रोबेनजीन ऑन हीटिंग द प्रेसिपिटेट्स कैन नॉट बी वेड आफ्टर ड्राइंग बट मस्ट बी इग्नाइटेड टू द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग ऑक्साइड एंड देन वेड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ चिलेटेड कॉम्प्लेक्स विद कॉपर टू पॉजिटिव आयन कैन शोन एज फॉलोज फिफ्थ एलमिनोन इट इज अमोनियम सॉल्ट ऑफ और आइन ट्राई कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इट स्ट्रक्चर इज शोन इन फिगर एटीन पॉइंट फाइव इट इज अ ब्राउनिश रेड पाउडर फ्रीली सोल्यूबल इन वाटर इट फॉर्म्स ब्रिलियंट कलर्ड लेक्स विद सर्टेन मेटल्स एस्पेशली एलुमिनियम विद विच इट गिवस अ ब्राइट रेड लेक एलुमिनियम इज अ डाई इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन फॉर स्पेक्ट्रो फोटोमेट्रिक डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ एलुमिनियम बाई एडजस्टिंग पेज ऑफ द टेस्ट सोल्यूशन बिलो सेवन पॉइंट एट इट इज पॉसिबल टू एस्टिमेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव मिलीग्राम ऑफ एलुमिनियम इवन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैल्शियम द रिएजेंट इज प्रिपेयर बाई डिजोल्विंग जीरो पॉइंट वन ग्राम ऑफ सबस्टांस इन हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ वाटर सिक्स रोबेनिक एसिड ऑल्सो कोल्ड डाई थाइक्समाइड दिस रिएजेंट इज द डाई अमाइड ऑफ डाई थाइक्जेलिक एसिड एंड इज एन इक्विलिब्रियम मिक्सचर विद इट्स टोटोमेरिक एसी डाई मिडो फोम द एसी फोम कम्बाइंस विद निकल कोबाल्ट एंड कोपर टू गिव कलर्ड वाटर इन सोल्यूबल इनर कॉम्प्लेक्स सोल्स हुज कम्पोजिशन इज शोन इन फिगर एटीन पॉइंट सिक्स The copper, cobalt, and nickel compounds are quantitatively precipitated from strongly ammonical solutions. In strong mineral acid solutions, rubenic acid reacts only with certain elements of platinum salts. In addition to above, rubenic acid forms colored compounds with silver, mercury, bismuth, and iron. Rubenic acid is not only important as spot test reagent but also as gravimetric and spectrophotometric reagent. Seventh, rhodamine B. It is a tetraethyl rhodamine and is represented by the structure of given in Figure eighteen point seven. Solution of antimony five salts in strong hydrochloric acid reacts with rhodamine B, and the aqueous solution of the reagent changes from red to violet or blue, and finally divided precipitate separates immediately or after standing. Trace amounts of antimony may be detected in the presence of large quantities of tin by means of this reagent. Small amounts of iron do not interfere. Mercury, gold, palladium are precipitated, while molybdates and tungstates in acid solution give color reaction with rhodamine B, similarly to those given by antimony salt. The freshly prepared benzene solution of rhodamine B is preferred to the aqueous solution. Eight, benzidine. Its structure is given in the margin in Figure eighteen point eight. It is a basic reagent and is employed in slightly acidic solution as dihydrochloride for the precipitation of sulfates as C twelve H twelve N two H two hold two positive S O four two negative. The resulting precipitates may be titrated against standard alkali. The important drawback of the method is relatively high solubility of the precipitate in water and even more in dilute hydrochloric acid. It also precipitates anions like phosphates and tungstates and gives crystalline precipitates with a number of metallic ions such as silver, copper, cadmium, gold, zinc, etc. With copper three and Ti three benzidine yields a blue coloration in alkaline medium, which is an important spot test for the metal ions. Recently, benzidine in dilute acetic acid has also been employed as a spot test reagent for the identification of some platinum metals like osmium, iridium, and platinum. Ninth, cupron or alpha benzoin. Its structure is given in Figure eighteen point nine. It is a white crystalline solid. It is sparingly soluble in water, but fairly soluble in alcohol. It also exists in isomeric beta form. Cupron is used as a reagent for the quantitative determination of copper, molybdenum, and tungsten. Alcoholic solution of cupron gives a green precipitate with ammonical solution of copper salt. Precipitation of other metals in ammonical medium is prevented in presence of tartaric acid. The green precipitate is soluble in dilute mineral acids. Copper can be estimated both volumetrically and gravimetrically by this reagent. The green precipitate is an inner complex whose formation can be shown as 
Cuprone also precipitates molybdenum and vanadium ions quantitatively but in strongly acid solution. Vanadium gives a yellow precipitate while molybdenum gives a white precipitate. Tungsten and palladium also appear to be quantitatively precipitated with alpha benzoin oxime. He recommended the use of the reagent for the detection of basicity in slightly soluble materials such as Al2O3, BaCO3, etc. 10th, Magnezone. The structure of this reagent is given in figure 18.10. It is also called P-nitrobenzene as a resource in all. 1 to 0.5% of solution in 0.25N in NaOH is generally employed. In alkaline solutions, it forms a bright blue lake with magnesium ions. The sensitivity of this test is influenced by the presence of ammonium salts, so their presence must be avoided. 11th, Alizarin S. It is an alizarin sulfonic acid whose structure has been shown in figure 18.11. It is a dye whose sodium salt is soluble in water and is employed as an analytical reagent. Aluminium salts gives a red precipitate with the violet solution of alizarin S in ammonia. This complex is an adsorption complex of aluminium with alizarin sulfonic acid. Adsorption system of this type containing metal hydroxide and a dye stuff are called lakes. Zirconium-4 forms red-violet colored compounds with the reagent under alkyne condition. Boric acid also forms brilliant red color in UV light by alizarin in H2SO4. The reagent has been employed as a spectrophotometric reagent for the above metal ions as well as for few others. Furthermore, its applicability as adsorption indicator in the titration of FeCN6 hole 4 negative, MOO4 hole 2 negative has also been re reported. 12th, Nitrone. Its structure is given in figure 18.12. It is a yellow solid. It is insoluble in water but dissolves in acetic acid. It is a 10% solution in 5% acetic acid is generally used as a reagent. Nitrone with nitrate yields a sparingly soluble crystalline nitrate C20 H16 N4 dot HNO3 in solution acidified with acetic or sulfuric acid. Thus, nitrone is a gravimetric reagent for nitrate. Perchlorate Tetrafluorate and tungstate also form insoluble salts and can be determined in a similar manner. Numerous other anions, including bromide, iodide, chlorate, thiocyanate, nitrate, and chromate, interfere but may easily be removed by preliminary treatment. The results in the presence of chloride ions are generally high, possible because of co-precipitation. Third, salicyloxyime. The structure of this reagent is given in Figure 18.13. It is a white crystalline solid. Melting point 57 degrees Celsius, sparingly soluble in water. 5% solution of this in 50% ethyl alcohol is used as a reagent. The reagent decomposes in solution and should not be kept for more than about 3 days. This gives a yellow greenish precipitate of the inner complex of copper salicylidoxime with acetic acid solution of copper 2 positive ion. Important inorganic reagents. Some important inorganic precipitating reagents are listed in table 8.1, 18.1. Precipitation of Al3 positive, Ca2 positive, Mg2 positive ions by liquid NH3 oxalic acid respectively can be shown as. Thank you.